Hello there. Today we're going to use Photopea to extend a backdrop in an image. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel for more tutorials like this. Alright, I already load several pictures into my artboard on photopea.com. This is HD size. The thing about this new tool called Magic Replace is it can work only on the limited area right now. So if your picture is too large, we cannot use it. We must refrain to the old method called content aware. So that's not that great. All right, so let's get started. First thing we need to do is to select an image and then we need to rasterize that. So right click on the layer, rasterize. Then we will select this empty area. There are a few ways we can do that. We can use the magic to select the layer, click on the empty area and it's selected right now. And then we go all the way down here to the magic replace. If you cannot see it, you can probably see the spot hitting brush to at the top, click on it, hold it for a moment and you will see this option. All right, with selection on our artboard with the layer selected, we are ready to fill this with a new content. What I want here is just a backdrop. So I type background as my prop. I don't want to put anything weird here. And I will try to replace that blank area with a new backdrop for this image. So while processing, this AI tool will analyze my image and try to fill it in with something new. So here's my result. I get some trees, mountains, and sky. As you can see, it's not perfect. I got this one pixel line here. So let's try to undo. So I will do Command Z, undo, and I will make maybe manual selection and I will select a little bit more. I will select a piece of the picture as well. Maybe this will resolve this problem. Let's try, take a look. All right, and now we got not really nice result down here. It's freaked out. So the thing about AI enhanced tools is we can try multiple times. I click replace again. And we got different result. If you like it, you keep it. If you don't like it, you can keep clicking replace and replace. Somebody mentioned in the previous video that we can also change the selection area so you can make it smaller and smaller. And this way you will be able to replace only the area you don't like. So, all right, I will now select only this bottom part and let's replace only this smaller part over here. All right, no results so far. All right, here's the tree. So here it is. That's how we can fill this gap with totally new content. On the right side of the picture, we will try the old method so we can compare that. So in the old method, we simply select the area and then we fill it with content aware. So edit, fill, and then select content aware fill. And what's the difference here? The difference is content aware that is sampling only from our image. So this mountain tree and sky exists somewhere around the image and we can track it back. And this is exact copy of that element. So if someone pay attention, they can find that piece of the image that is simply duplicated here at the edge. If we use the magic replace over here, this will take our image as example and use the machine learning to generate new content for that image. So this is supposed to be a totally new thing. Take a look, that's something new. <laughs> Let's close this image from this side. It's actually fitting well here, but that's not what I'm looking for. So I will click replace one more time. The thing with AI tools are that you can get different results every time you use them. So feel free to 
click replace multiple times until you get the result you like this one is totally wrong so i think i will even undo to the blank side like that i will correct my selection and we will try again now all right and this way we replace we get a new backdrop on this side it's not perfect here as you can see we got line like that what happened if we got line like this what can we do about that let's use a simple content aware on this element so I'll fill that with content aware do not over complicate this whole operation deselect and it's all done we managed to extend the backdrop and we got some organic results on the left and right not just simple content aware all right let's keep testing this i'm really interested on results here so i will select this area and again magic replace i cannot use it right now i must rasterize the image first so right click rasterize what if i just type water to be more specific in this case and let's try to replace this area okay that's really nice result it's matching perfectly the water we got before on this side definitely something you cannot do with content aware so let's try content aware on the left side this time so again edit fill content aware that's the old method without ai enhanced tool and you can see that it's simply duplicating the part of the backdrop, not matching. So in case like this, I think this generative fill from the magic replace will be better for us. All right, that's a nice result and very quick. So this way we extend the backdrop on the left and right. Let's move this image to the right and try to extend even larger portion of it all right so rasterize i make a selection here and now we will use magic replace to generate grass and that's totally wrong <laughs> let's undo i will give it i would Give it one more time with exactly the same prompt to see what we'll get the second try. <laughs> That's funny. All right. How about a simple background? And that's a bird. <laughs> All right, let's replace it one more time. As you can see, it, sometimes it will take multiple tries. That's my background, huh? That's interesting. I would say this one is totally bugged. Oh, I got three now. Hmm, that's creative. What if I simply undo all of that and go with a classic content aware for this guy maybe in this case we'll get better results with the old method content aware fill let's try it out and here it is that's the classic content aware it's not bad definitely better than a bird <laughs> so in that case the third example we use content aware not the ai magic replace all right next thing we got some flowers here and again we will now select left side first and try to fill it with background let's start with background first oh we got the prompt that object must be rasterized forget about that let's do it done and now we can process our magic replace all right we got a nice extension on the left and now we're going to do the same thing on the right side 
I just asking the program to give me more background. And here it is. That's really nice. It was kind of like piece of the flower and he can like reconstruct the another part of it and match everything nicely. I'm really happy about this result here. Very quick. And we get it in the first try in this case. So that was nice. And the last example here. This will be a real test because I'm not sure how big the area can be. So let's check. Can we create more backdrop on this side? Let's rasterize and let's try. It's processing, not an error. So that's the good sign. And that's terrible result. All right. Let's try again. <laughs> That's not what I was looking for, definitely. How about if I do it on the right side? Because in this case, our backdrop we're extending is kind of almost bigger than the original picture. So I will call this a failure, even though the backdrop is not bad. He also replicating the cat as well. So that's not what I mean. Uh, all right. So I think in that case, if you want to extend pictures so much that you adding more than 50% of new content by AI, that's you may have mixed results like I just get. If you just extending a little bit, uh, like in this case with flowers, that was really nice. For some reason, he freaked out on the bird, even though the backdrop was really simple, really simple thing to replace. That's why we use the old method called content aware. We got really good results on this water with this bird here. Really good results. And the first one was the mountain. It took us few tries, few tries on the left and right to finally get a nice backdrop generated for us. All right. So here it is. You can generate a new background to fill the empty part of the image. Even if you're extending the image, nothing there before like I just show you, just keep in mind with those AI tools, they continuously evolving. So feel free to try several times and worst case scenario, let's roll back to the old method like we did with the bird and use the content aware fill. All right. I hope this video was helpful and I hope I will see you in the next lesson. Bye.